Hey everyone, welcome back to Shop Life. Welcome to our kitchen. It's a very small kitchen, but it's very productive and it works really, really well for us. It didn't used to be like this. This is how it used to look. So we've been using the kitchen for the past six to seven months and everything is going really, really well. The only things that we've actually had to keep up with as far as maintenance goes is this butcher block countertop. So we've been always recoating it every couple months. Uh, whenever it feels or looks like it's starting to dry up, we recoat it with the butcher block uh, sealant and it's food safe and it actually like keeps it looking brand new as you can see right now. Now with it being such a small apartment overall, we didn't want to go with a full dining table. So for us, we got lucky with this bar that was already here. We just recoated it. It's a laminate surface, but we painted it and we haven't had to touch it up. That's why there's a couple of marks here and there. Some of these marks were from when we were putting this countertop in, but for the most part it's worn down really well. We use this every day for our dining space. So most of this kitchen is actually from Ikea. So all the main parts like the cabinets, the shelves, all that stuff is from Ikea. Then we've got some appliances that we got from a local warehouse, some stuff from Amazon like the faucet and stuff like that. But for the most part, we wanted to try out how it was going to be. So all these cabinets that are from Ikea were right around 2000 bucks with the sink and all the shelves. And the reason that they were a little bit more expensive was because we wanted to go with the soft close feature. So as you can see here, it looks amazing, it works really well, and it's got soft close. It's a little bit more expensive, yes, but we wanted to make sure it's going to hold up for a long time. That's why we wanted to try it out in the apartment. Once we start putting it in the house, you know, we don't want to put something that's not going to last that long or feel like it's that good of a quality. But the IKEA stuff is holding up really, really well, and it looks great. So a couple of other things from Amazon are this faucet, which was actually not that expensive at all, and it's also holding up really, really well. Even the, the actual finish, I was surprised that it's actually not scratched up or anything like that. It's a matte black, you know, it telescopes, you can change all this out, all this comes out. It's awesome. Another thing that I love about the faucet is that there's no water stains ever, which uh, we have an issue with that with one of the Ikea ones we bought for the bathroom, but this one, since it's black, I was afraid it would have like white water stains or, you know, just, it just looked dirty overall, but it's, it's like this all the time. So I really like that. Um, I also love the sink. It's a smaller sink than most people have in their kitchen, but I mean, for us, for only two of us, it's worked out really well. Another Amazon thing that we got were the lights and it just flows really well with this kitchen with the color scheme as well. And they work out perfect for us. Now, another thing from Amazon is this cooktop. This is an induction cooktop made by Gasland Chef. We'll have links to as many of the things that we can down below in the description. But this actually works really, really amazing. You can boil water in a big pot within like five minutes, which is crazy compared to an electric stove or even a gas range. And it just works really, really well. None of, we haven't had any issues with anything. You can lock all the buttons. Everything is touch screen and it just works great. So because of this cooktop, I actually have changed my mind on what I want in the house. So originally I wanted a gas stove, but just seeing how easy it is to clean this and how easily it boils and everything, now for sure I want an induction stove in the house. I mean, one downside for us is we don't have an oven in this space. There's just not enough space to put a wall oven. If we did put a wall oven, we would lose a lot of the cabinet space. So we've actually made do with the toaster oven and it's just worked out great. But in the house, we probably will go with either a wall oven or wall oven, <laughs> a wall oven or get an induction stove that has an oven built in as well. 
So on this side with these IKEA floating shelves, we actually use these for all of our appliances. You can't see it from when you're coming into the apartment or anything, and it just goes, tucks away really well up there. Yes, and I should mention about that air fryer. We got it on Amazon, and it's really, really good. We use it all the time, and yeah, I'll link that one down below. I also love our blender, I mean. Yeah, we, we make all of our smoothies, shakes, all that in this Ninja blender, and it's very quick and easy. So this is like the over-the-range microwave that has got the built-in vents as well to vent whatever you're cooking. And this works out great. We can actually vent it out into the attic, but we just use this to vent out from up here. Since we've got a window in here, whenever we're frying something or anything like that, we can just open the window and it works great. The microwave is actually compact because we didn't want something that was huge in here since mm -hmm. the kitchen's not that big. And we put it a little bit higher up than what you would normally find a microwave, but it works out great for us and it's still very accessible. Yeah, and we actually got it for $50, so definitely if you're renovating or doing anything like this, definitely check out places where they have like leftovers or things like scratch that. Scratch and dent. It, yeah, this was a scratch and yeah, dent. There's no dent on this side. Well, there's just little dents there, but there's a huge dent on this side, which here. doesn't matter because honestly, you you're never going to see it. And it's on the top anyway, so even if you could see the side, you really wouldn't be able to tell either way. Oh, and let me mention that when I'm cooking, I love having this towel go all up on the wall. It's so easy to clean and it just looks good, to be honest. Yeah, whenever you're frying something, if it splashes up there, there's no issues at all. And just in case you guys are wondering if I changed my mind on having the shelves, I do not. I rather prefer the shelves over, you know, the cabinets because it just makes it feel more open. And I mean, it's never messy. I just keep yeah. what's on the shelves here and it's practical. Yeah. I mean, we still use like all the, the dishes that are there, up there, it's just like kind of storage in those airtight containers, it looks pretty good, yeah. you know? And yeah. And I guess this keeps us from cluttering up the space too much because you can't really clutter up these shelves because you can see everything. So it keeps it, you know, a little bit more organized for us. And I mean, it's only two of us, so we have enough stuff right here for all of our everyday use. We can also store like some plates and stuff that we don't use every day in these drawers down here. And I was afraid that the kitchen will feel, you know, very small when you're using it. But to be honest, and it never, it's never an issue. I never think like, oh my God, this is so small or I don't have space or anything. But, but then again, it's only two of us, so. Um, yeah. I mean, we do notice that if we're both in the kitchen at the same time, like if someone's trying to cook and someone's trying to wash the dishes, yeah, we're kind of both, you know, bumping butts. <laughs> <laughs> but for the most part, there's usually never both of us in it at the same time. I'm usually over there eating and then she's usually over here cooking. <laughs> so funny. So funny. Oh, man. Oh, as far as storage, it's pretty good. I mean, we don't have no issues. We, I mean, we don't have a lot of dishes. Yeah. And it also stops it from me washing a lot of dishes. Yeah. Another good thing about this whole setup is the trash can actually tucks away underneath the sink. So everything's right there. It's out of sight and it doesn't really stink up anything and it's just easy to change out. Yeah, never had an issue with that. Yeah. So. Yeah, and honestly, I really just love this kitchen. <laughs> There's not much to it, but it works amazing for us. Now, as far as the bar stools, we got them for a steal. We found them on OfferUp. All three of them were 75 bucks, and they're actually still available for sale at the store at home. And over there, they're actually $99 each. So we got them for a really, really good deal. Now, one thing that we didn't change in this kitchen is the fridge. So this fridge was left behind by the previous owner, and I mean, we just cleaned it up really well cleaned up the cavity that the fridge sits in, and it's actually more than enough space for us. So there's not a big deal for that at all. Now, the only other thing that we actually had to spend some money on was the floor. And the floor, we decided to go with a luxury vinyl tile that's waterproof, it's got the built-in underlayment and everything, and it's held up really well. It doesn't, you know, stain or anything like that. It is white, but it looks great. Now, the overall cost for this whole kitchen makeover was right around $4,000. Um, it might be a little bit less than that, but we're just gonna round up to $4,000 for all the little small odds and ends like the drain pipes and anything like that. But I think honestly, we did spend a little bit more than we wanted to, mainly because of these cabinets, but we got to try them out and we we're happy with it. So, and we're still gonna be using this for a little while until the house gets renovated. But besides that, that pretty much concludes this kitchen renovation. I hope you guys enjoyed it and make sure you guys stay tuned for our next video where we do the whole apartment reveal. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in our next video.